Have you ever woken up with a red eye and wondered if it's just another case of pink eye? Well, hold on to your eye drops because there's a sneaky little condition called episcleritis that might be crashing your eye party. It's like the cousin of pink eye, but with its own twist. In this video, I'm going to play eye detective and uncover the mystery of episcleritis. You'll learn why that redness might not be as scary as you think and how to tell if it's time to hit the panic button or just grab a cool compress. Get ready to become an eye expert in just a few minutes. Episcleritis is an inflammation of the thin layer of tissue called the episclera. This layer sits between the white part of your eye, that's called the sclera, and the clear outer layer, the conjunctiva. When this thin layer gets irritated, it causes the eye to look red and angry, similar to other eye conditions. Well, pink eye or conjunctivitis is a super common, often contagious condition, episcleritis is a bit different. It's not as widespread as pink eye, but it's not exactly rare either. In fact, some studies suggest that episcleritis might be more common than we think, especially in certain groups of people. Episcleritis typically affects women more than men, particularly those between 47 and 60 years old. However, it can affect anyone regardless of age or gender. So how can you tell if it's episcleritis or something else? Well, there are a few key differences. Episcleritis is often painless, despite the eye's inflamed appearance. It's also not contagious, so you don't need to worry about spreading it to others or even to your other eye. These characteristics set it apart from other conditions like pink eye. Interestingly, about 28% of people with episcleritis experience recurrent episodes. This can sometimes lead to confusion and misdiagnosis, especially when the symptoms overlap with other eye conditions. So now let's talk about what's actually happening to your eye when you have episcleritis. The episclera is a pretty complex structure made up of two layers that contains blood vessels. When episcleritis strikes, these blood vessels become engorged, causing the characteristic redness we see. Those engorged blood vessels might be sending a red flag, but what if they're actually a red herring? There's another eye condition that mimics episcleritis very closely. Even doctors sometimes struggle to tell them apart. When it comes to eye redness, episcleritis and its more serious cousin, scleritis, can look remarkably similar. Both cause redness inflammation, but the difference lies in the details. Episcleritis affects the episclera, the thin layer between the white of your eye and the clear outer layer, causing bright, localized redness. Scleritis affecting the sclera itself often presents with a deeper, almost purplish hue. However, appearance alone isn't enough to distinguish between these conditions. That's where eye doctors use their expertise and special tests. One key tool is the phenylephrine test. The doctor applies phenylephrine drops to your eye. In episcleritis, the redness fades as the blood vessels constrict, while in scleritis, it persists. This test helps doctors see what's happening beneath the surface, as episcleritis only affects the superficial blood vessels, while scleritis inflammation goes deeper. Pain is another distinguishing factor. Episcleritis, as I said before, is usually mildly irritating with very little pain, while scleritis can cause deep, intense pain that might even wake you up at night. Understanding the difference between these conditions is really crucial. Episcleritis is typically harmless and self-limiting, but scleritis can be a sign of something more serious, often associated with autoimmune conditions and potentially threatening your vision if left untreated. That's why proper diagnosis is so important. It's about understanding what's really going on inside your eye and potentially your body. By identifying the subtle differences between these conditions, doctors can provide the right treatment and address any underlying issues, ensuring your eyes stay healthy and your vision remains clear. And another key thing to note is episcleritis might not spread from person to person, but it could be a sign of something bigger going on inside you. And I'm gonna talk about the surprising connection between your red eye and your overall health. Episcleritis isn't just an isolated eye condition. In fact, research shows that about 26 to 36% of people with episcleritis have an associated systemic disorder. These can include autoimmune conditions like rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, and Crohn's disease. It's also been linked to connective tissue diseases, including vasculitis conditions, which are conditions that inflame the blood vessels in the body, and even some skin conditions like rosacea. In very rare cases, episcleritis has been associated with infectious agents like Lyme disease, tuberculosis, syphilis, 
and viruses that can cause shingles. There's even an interesting connection with a condition called relapsing polychondritis, where 59% of patients experience either episcleritis or scleritis. Now, before you start worrying, let's take a deep breath. In many cases, doctors don't pinpoint an exact cause, which we call idiopathic episcleritis. It could be triggered by stress, hormonal changes, or other factors we don't fully understand yet. There even have been reports of episcleritis being the first sign of COVID-19 infection, showing how our eyes can sometimes be early indicators of health issues. While we don't have all the answers about risk factors, the strong association with autoimmune conditions suggests there might be a genetic component. If you have a family history of autoimmune diseases, it might be worth keeping an eye out for symptoms of episcleritis. Remember, episcleritis can affect anyone, and our eyes are complex, and sometimes multiple eye conditions can occur simultaneously, adding to the importance of regular eye checkups and being aware of any changes to your vision or eye appearance. So let's talk about how we treat episcleritis. In many cases, episcleritis actually resolves on its own without really any intervention. But don't worry, if your episcleritis is causing discomfort or it persists, doctors have a range of treatments that are readily available. For mild cases, artificial tears can help soothe the irritation. Try chilling them in the refrigerator for an extra relief. If that's not enough, over-the-counter medications like ibuprofen or naproxen can help reduce inflammation and ease discomfort. For more stubborn cases, your eye doctor might prescribe topical corticosteroid eye drops or oral medication. Corticosteroids work quickly to reduce redness and irritation, but aren't for long-term use. And oral non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs can help manage symptoms and prevent future flare-ups, especially if you're dealing with recurrent episodes or an underlying condition. And speaking of underlying conditions, if your episcleritis is linked to other health issues, your eye doctor might collaborate with other specialists to address the root cause. The good news is that most cases of episcleritis respond well to treatment. With proper care, many people see improvement within a few days to a couple of weeks. Even without treatment, most cases clear up on their own within two to three weeks. For those prone to recurrent episodes, Long-term management strategy might include identifying and avoiding any triggers, regular checkups, and lifestyle adjustments to support overall eye health. Remember, most cases of episcleritis can be effectively managed, whether through simple home remedies, medications, or addressing underlying health issues. There's usually a way to calm those angry eyes and get you back to seeing clearly. So what have we learned about episcleritis? It's like a red flag, your eyes are waving, trying to get your attention. While often harmless though, it can be a window into your overall health. Remember, your eyes aren't just for seeing, they're also telling you things about your body. And here's really the main takeaway. Don't ignore persistent eye redness. It could be your body sending an important message. If you notice unusual redness or discomfort that doesn't go away, it's time to check in with your eye doctor. They're like detectives for your eyes, uncovering clues about your health. With the right knowledge and care, we can keep our eyes healthy and our vision clear. After all, our eyes are our windows to our world. Let's make sure they're in top shape. Take care. See you in the next video.